Alright guys, welcome to the video and in today's experiment we're going to see how long we can hold our breaths. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not really. <laughs> we're going to be doing uh, something called a Swedish torch which is basically a survival stove if you like and um, we're going to show you how to build it from scratch. So you get a full log, you axe it a question uh, into fours and then we're going to tie it together with two different types. I'm going to bury mine and my dad's going to use metal wire to tie it together. We're actually going to cook bacon on one and uh, we're going to maybe make a, a tripod as well to cook tea on. So um, yeah, boil the kettle and stuff like that. So stay tuned, it's going to be good. So as you can see, we're just setting up here and we've got some stuff that we're going to be using. We've got, um, I've actually got my axe that I'm going to be using and there's some different variants there. We've got the hatchet and um, the proper wood chopper's axe there. We've got the stuff for cooking. So we've got the actual um, kettle in there and we've got the stuff to be frying bacon and stuff like that. We've got the two chairs and we're actually building a tripod here, which um, the chain can hang from and you can actually use to put a cooking pot on or, or things like that. So. Um, I don't think we've got any full logs, we've just got a load of logs. So we're going to be getting um, four already cut logs each and we're just going to be tying them together to make this Swedish torch. It's so simple, so easy. This thing burns for hours um, and yeah, we're going to be boiling the kettle on it and uh, getting some bacon on for breakfast boys. So it's currently two degrees where we are. Um, let's go choose some logs. As you can see, we've got a load of logs already cut. This is just firewood and things like that. So obviously if he's out in the wild, you're just uh, chop a log into four, easy peasy. So we're just going to pick out some bits like that and then put them time together to make a circle. All right, so obviously our logs were pre-cut so we've ended up with a few more pieces than four, but this is the idea of it basically. And then when you tie all these together, we're going to get the fire burning in the middle. We're going to take these corners off. So we basically got a hole in the middle there for airflow and for feeding the fire more wood if you need to. But to be honest, the bits you chop off should be absolutely fine. I'm going to do something called um, feathering as well, which is where we go down a stick with a knife or the edge of one of these logs and we'll be making the, uh, the kindling to start the fire. All right, so what we're going to do is just take this edge off here and then he's going to make the hole in the middle there. That's a pile there. We're gonna put my pile there. And like I said, we are just taking this edge off here. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where. That'll do just fine. And then what we're gonna do with this is maybe feather it with a knife. As you see, it's starting to feather there like that. And this is what we'll use to start the actual um, the fire there. All right, as you can see, my dad's going to put his together with wire there. Um, that is a massive hole in the middle of that. <laughs> and I'm going to bear in mind. Obviously it's a bit different because we haven't chopped the same log into four, but and that's the basic matter. principle. And that's my dad's tied up there. And that is mine uh, buried over there. And we're just going to fill the middle. All right, and what we do now with the extra bits, this is called feathering. So you just go down and you just make stuff like that. Okay, and this is going to be the kindling. So I'm going to sit down and do it and make a little pile. Okay, and just start getting bits like that. Uh. 
the GoPro on my Alright, we've got two not really Swedish torches but sort of going. Um, obviously we didn't use a full log which is a bit annoying because we only had firewood but it's the same principle look this is held together with metal wire that is burning in the middle and that will burn for hours man because it's not just um, the four logs that we put in half as loads you can split a log into as many as you want really um, so um, yeah that's burning away mine's burning away uh, and it's buried so mine's not going anywhere that's not going anywhere uh, just as it's burning down sometimes you need to um, just tighten the wire a little bit as it goes in and then from the chopped wood there we've got enough to uh, fuel it if need be but I don't think we need to so let me get some cooking stuff out and we'll start that uh, phase with it being a little bit damp and stuff I had to put a little something to get it going but you know <laughs> raise it up a bit and then we won't choke the fire out. All right, here we go. Got some good old uh, bacon oil and some tongs. Tell you what guys, it's going all right. It's a bit smokier than I thought, <laughs> but we're getting through it. Oh baby. Good, isn't it? I can smell the bacon. Yeah, it's on there. It's about done. It cooks quick. Yeah, keep turning it, mate. Well. Set three bits each. Happy days. Not bad. <laughs> it just fuels itself. 
until it's gone and then you can just fold it in and have a normal fire. Tea's ready darling. Tea cozy, very important. 